President Muhammad Buhari has approved the extension of the closure of Nigeria's border with neighboring countries to January 31, 2020. The exercise code named Operation Exercise Swift Response had resulted in joint border operations by a combined team of security agencies. The Deputy Comptroller of Customs in Charge of Enforcement Investigation and Inspectorate, Victor Dimka, conveyed the presidential directive in a memo to the sector coordinators. The memo stated that despite the overwhelming success of the operation, particularly the security and economic benefits to the nation, a few strategic objectives are yet to be achieved. He said the need to achieve the strategic objectives of the exercise informed the extension of this phase by the president. It assured operatives that are involved in the joint operations that the allowances would be paid. The Public Relations Officer's Nigerian Customs Service, Joseph Atta, confirmed the development. Now, the Nigerian Customs Service says the border closure will continue until the set objectives are achieved. The Customs Public Relations Officer Joseph Atta said this while reacting to the service leaked memo in the media. In Abuja on Sunday, he explained that the internal memo was referring to the end of a phase of the joint security operations known as X-Swift response. According to him, the memo is not on the terminal date for the partial border closure. He said security operation of this kind was usually in phases. The Nigerian Customs Service Comptroller General Colonel Amit Ali, retired, had recently said the main objective of the border closure was to ensure that neighboring countries complied with the ECOWAS protocols on transit. He explained that the protocol on transit mandated customs in the neighboring countries to escort items coming to Nigeria to the borders so that the importers would not evade payment of duties. He added that the measure had also helped in curtailing the influx of arms and ammunition into the country.